guys, how you doing? It's Henry, and mowers and blowers. Welcome to another episode. As you can see, my uh, military desert UTV six-wheeler project is almost coming to an end. I'm gonna just do a little bit of touch-up paint on some parts that I might have missed. Um, also, the bed is not painted yet, so I gotta paint that. Uh, I don't have any of the paint that I used for most of it. Uh, it, the shade is a little bit either lighter or going to be darker, whatever. And I haven't really decided what color I want to paint that. I mean, should it be this about the same color or can it be like olive drab green? You know, the other military color, but it's much darker, you know? Uh, I'll see how much paint I have. Uh, you saw from yesterday's episode. Absolutely. Well, let's. <laughs> nice meeting you, Bill. Uh, that's. that's right, once again, man. Thanks a lot, Bill. John Deere is still sitting there. Um, I'm just slowly cleaning it up because there's so much grass in between the crevices over there that they're hardened. And just from blowing it, you're not gonna be able to get it out. I have to actually agitate it with like a brush or a screwdriver just to get, the, get all the crevices. Um, the battery terminal, the red wire leading to the, to the solenoid, to the battery, it wasn't even connected. <laughs> it was so rusted and corroded that it just broke right off when I tried to attach the terminals to charge up the battery, which it seems like it's charging. I put a, the sulfator on it, see if we can uh, get the health of the battery better. So uh, also today I'm going to uh, paint the hood and uh, let it dry and maybe we'll do the decals later, which is really cool. Also the surprise final ending to what I'm going to add to this, I had on the old model uh, project, the Desert Sand uh, Craftsman LT1000. And as you guys know, I made a Gatling gun for that one, but I didn't want to make it again because it took me so long to make it and it really didn't look very good. I'll show you that at the end of the episode. Like I said, I haven't painted the inside yet. I'm going to paint it. Um, I also, of course, took off the headlight lenses to the hood. Uh, I've got to clean this up because it's disgusting. Also, the reflective backing to the uh, headlight assembly is also really dirty. Uh, you have to be careful when you wipe the stuff off because you wipe off the reflective coating on it too, so it becomes just clear. Also, the centerpiece here, I'm gonna, I've got the painted, so I have to paint that. And also, the hood needs to be painted too. I didn't have enough paint for the fenders, so I'm gonna do that today. fellers she's a painted <laughs> it looks pretty good huh uh, my neighbor andy the brit came by and he says what you gonna do with that i says i don't know he's like you know if you put that up someone's gonna buy it <laughs> i said you know what it's exactly what andy from jericho said that if i put this up some nut is gonna buy this so it is pretty cool I'll go slow around so you guys can absorb everything that I've done to it. Um, I'm, I'm, the fenders in the front are growing on me. I guess it's okay. As you saw, I, uh, paint, I uh, painted the center, of course, with that contrasting darker FDE color. It's okay. And the lights, I mean, that's as clean as it's going to get. You know what I mean? I didn't go crazy with the masking, you know what I'm saying? There's some overspray here and there, but, you know, it's supposed to look a little dirty and messy, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a utility vehicle, you know? It's supposed to be in the desert and all. Uh, I had enough paint, just enough. I had this darker brown. Well, they call it taupe, you know? So that gives it a little bit of a contrast between the outer and the inner. It's a little bit slightly darker, which is cool. Uh, better than black, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go inside and get the decals that my friend Andy from Jericho made. Uh, it's, I'm not gonna uh, overload it with decals, but uh, I'm gonna put a big American flag in black right there. And then I've got a couple of mowers and blower stickers. I'm gonna put it right there where the Craftsman was on both sides. 
But first, before I do that, I want to mount something right there, the Gatling gun, and I'm going to show it to you right now. But first, I have to drill a hole <laughs> right around there. <laughs> right in the center. Top of it. Are you ready? Here it is. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's right. It's a mini gun, Gatling gun. Um, I had an old red dot. You know, because you guys know uh, Mowers, Blowers, and Guns is my other channel. I'm a gun enthusiast. So I had this cheap red dot that broke on me, and so I just mounted it on there. Uh, I fabricated that, of course. Uh, this is a rechargeable Gatling gun, uh, motorized. Initially, it was like a toy gun for kids. Uh, you, you soak these little gel balls in water, and so they expand into bigger balls. And you put them in this reservoir there, right? And when you shoot it, it shoot these little wet gel balls. And I didn't even want that. I just, I just wanted a Gatling gun that looked pretty good, looked kind of real, and rotated the turret. Now, this was orange, you know, for kids. This was painted orange. It had like this ugly, oh, here, I did the bottom here. The bottom was sort of, the whole thing was like red or something, with some kind of camouflage reddish look, like this. Anyway, so I painted it black. I left the uh, trigger red thing uh, red. I mean, it looks pretty good as a, a mini gun, you know what I mean? And I had an old uh, shooting rest, you know, from my gun channel. Uh, they sent me a lot of stuff over there too. And so I, I needed this thing and I had a tripod, but mounting a tripod on here kind of looks yucky. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a bolt right in there into the uh, hood. So one of my, uh, subscribers Roger McDonald he's like my number one fan all right um, he generously donated he knew that I was up to something when when it came to this project right so he knew that I was gonna do something and so he contributed twenty dollars to the channel so that uh, I could I could use it to help complete the uh, project right so um, this was only $19.99 <laughs> on Amazon and so I bought it right and then I painted it like I said and I put a Picatinny rail from here to there so I can mount this um, red dot. It doesn't work, but it gives it the look. So watch this, it, it's functional, look. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> I just thought it was great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount it like right here and it's gonna be able to turn left and right too. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to call this the McDonald gun. So the bottom has one of these things, you know, where you mount like camera tripods and stuff. I got this bolt that is the right um, thread. Of course, the hole's not big enough. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. It's a little wobbly here. I know that if I'm driving and stuff, it'll just fly right off. Maybe. Eh. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, moves around too much. So my buddy, Andy from Jericho. Hey, I'm Andy from Jericho. He printed this up for me. Uh, I believe one of these things is for the back windshield of Sketchy. 
it's subdued kind of like gray and then uh he's printed me two of these black ones we're gonna put there on the side like that that's gonna be hard to do because it's kind of curved you know and then the big american flag really nice we'll put that on the back Bros. Tell me that's not badass. That is awesome. It was kind of hard to peel off the backing because of these little things here, like the O and the E, the little uh, rectangle things, especially this little line there in the O, it was sticking, so it was difficult to get off. It was hard to remove from the backing, but it just took some time. Badass, man. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. You guys like it? There we go. It's slightly crooked, but let me tell you, when I put that on there, once you put it on there, man, you're committed. So it's good enough. Uh, that that uh, gray really stands out in the back uh, black background, huh? almost like white. That looks cool. Um, my buddy really makes good stickers. Well, that's it. What do you guys think, huh? Something else bothers me a little. <laughs> when Nick gave this to me, he kept the cup holders. I'm going to ask him if he still has it and if he wants to give it to me. But I don't want to go all the way over to his house. It's like 40 minutes to get to his house. If any of you guys have the plastic cup holder for this. Now look, they make like five different kinds. There's one that looks like just a cup that you stick in there. Then there's another one that's exactly this size. Kind of like squarish. That's not the one. The one that I need is like six inches long that has a thing that goes in here, see? So it's like that big. If you guys have it, you know that's the one that I need. If you want to contribute to the channel and complete this 100%, let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. See what I mean? Just having a hole there just doesn't make you feel good.
I've got to practice my uh, flying. So I crashed my drone again. I was trying to get it to follow me. <laughs> it wasn't following me. So I crashed, broke it. It's less than ideal. I could probably fix it, but... Got to practice this stuff. finished my uh, 2x6 desert military UTV project. Six-wheeler, man. I think it's great. Um, I would have probably liked to make it four-wheel drive, you know what I mean? Because going over bumps and stuff like that, sometimes you're over a bump and the center wheels are still spinning because <laughs> these aren't powered, you know? But then maybe that, that's another story in the future, who knows? But what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments, man. Uh, I was trying to get some drone footage, but you know, my drone, uh, I'm new at drones, you know what I mean? And I got trees and wires all over the place. So it takes a little bit of learning to perfect that kind of follow me around the block kind of thing, you know? But either way though, thank Andy from Jericho for these awesome stickers. Thanks Roger McDonald for the contribution to the channel so I can get the Gatling gun. <laughs> Gatling gun was way easier to make than fabricating the whole thing by myself, you know. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the multi-series um, of this project. I think it was like 10 or 12, you know, including the engine repair to put in here. Uh, a lot, like 15 episodes or something. But all of it is in the links in the description, my playlist for this uh, project. If you guys have missed an episode or two, feel free to go back and check it out. It was pretty interesting and... Uh, did it all from scratch. What I'm in it for. 
other than the $20 that Roger sent me for the Gatling gun, I paid $25 for the battery last year. I had it on hand, right? Uh, and I paid about $13 or $15 for the paint. Andy from Jericho made me the stickers. So I'm in this for 50 bucks, less than 50 bucks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll get more than 50 bucks for this if I ever decide to sell it. But for now, I'm not gonna list it. I'm gonna enjoy it, drive it around. I gotta get this out of here and into my yard because my next project, the John Deere Zero Turn. Hope you guys will subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes and uh, like and share. The thumbs up button would really help too. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, I'm Andy from Jericho. See, see you guys, guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Blowers.